at this moment in hockey history. The National Predators currently find themselves in seventh place in the Central Division after 11 games skated this season. They have a record of 4-6-1. and one. They have nine points on the season. That has them 11 points behind the Winnipeg Jets in first place. The Preds are 3-5-0 and oh on the at home this season, which is where their next game will take place. That will be against the LA Kings. The Preds have scored 29 goals on the season. They've given up 38 goals on the season's goal differential of minus nine. Now, let's update you on the most recent Central Division standings. Then we will talk about the Predators. Then we'll talk about the Predators and the LA Kings matchup. The Winnipeg Jets are in first place in the Central Division. After 11 games, they have a record of 10 and 120 points. Has them four points clear of second place Minnesota. Then you'll find the Dallas Stars with 14 points in third place. The Utah Hockey Club has 13 points. They're in fourth place. St. Louis just behind them at 12. The Colorado Avalanche with 10 points. Then the Nashville Predators sit at nine points. And the Chicago Blackhawks in last place with nine points. Now, for the Predators, once they wrap up this game against the LA Kings, that will be an end to this homestand. And then Wednesday, Thursday, back-to-backs, Washington and Florida on the road. Then back home on Saturday night, face off against the Utah Hockey Club, November the 11th at the Colorado Avalanche, and the 14th of November at the Edmonton Oilers. That's the beginnings of the lengthy CMA road trip that you know is on the calendar for every November for this National Predators Club. So need to wrap up this homestand strong against the L.A. Kings. It's the first of three games this season against the L.A. Kings from the Pacific Division. They'll meet again on the 21st of December when the L.A. Kings will come to Nashville for the second time. Preds won't go out to L.A. until March the 15th. I bet it'll be lovely heading out there at that time of year. Be much better than the weather will be here, that's for sure. So that'll be the three meetings between the Preds and the Kings during the regular season this year. It's always a potential that they could meet up in the regular season for a best of seven. So we'll see how this goes. The LA Kings, 6-3-3 on the season. They have 15 points. They are second in the Pacific Division. 3-3-2 is their road record, which is very reasonable. 39 goals, 440 goals against the goal differential of minus one. Take a look at their most recent stretch of five games. Games, their last five, as I like to say, on the 24th of October, it was a 3-2 to two win versus San Jose. On the 26th of October, a 3-2 to two win versus Utah. On the 29th of October, it was a 4-2 to two loss at San Jose. On the 30th, it was a 6-3 win versus the Vegas Golden Knights. And most recently on November the 2nd, a 4-3 shootout loss versus the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, you see San Jose on the board twice there and Chicago in the last five. So not the best competition for the LA Kings to be going up against. The Nashville Predators have also had some difficulties with the level of competition they've been facing. But the LA Kings and the Nashville Predators, they do match up in some pretty unique ways right here. In the goals for category, the it's not one of them. Uh, 2.64 for the Predators. That offense is deficient. It's underperforming, and everybody knows it at this point. 27th rated overall in the NHL. Goal for the LA Kings, 3.25. That's a good, respectable number, but that's still only 13th in the league, right there near the middle of the pack. But it's still, it's a solid number, 3.25 goals per game. Could you imagine? In the goals against category, this is where the two teams get very similar. 3.45 goals against for the Predators is 23rd in the league. For the Kings, 3.2. Five is 20th, so almost completely even right there. 0.2 difference. In the shots for category, both of these teams are at top 10. The Nashville Purse, 34.1 shots on goal per game is second overall, while the Kings are 10th overall at 30.7 shots per game. The shots against, another interesting one right here, because the Purse have faced a couple of teams in a row now that are really good at keeping shot volume down. The LA Kings at 26.4 shots against per game. It's fifth best in the NHL are certainly in that category, and the Preds are now down to 28.5 shots against per game. Uh, that's 14th in the NHL so they are dropping in that metric uh, pretty consistently the last couple of games that's trending in a bad direction uh, special teams. Let's talk about that. The Predators do have the better power play by percentage, 23.7% conversion rates, 11th best in the NHL. Nine out of 38 is what the raw data works out to be. The LA Kings are 16.7% conversion rate, 23rd overall in the league, and seven out of 42, seven goals on 42 opportunities for the LA Kings. When it comes to the penalty kill, uh, the Predators have fallen out of the number one spot, but it is actually a statistical tie with the New York Rangers at 91.2% kill rate, but the Preds are listed as second. They 
They've given up three power play goals on the season. That's a pretty strong effort by the PK unit. The LA Kings bring the 21st rated penalty kill unit into Bridgestone Arena. They've given up 11 power play goals against on the season. Kill rate of 77 0.1%. Let's go over the individual scoring leaders for each of these clubs, a potential goaltending matchup. Let's start with the LA Kings side of the ledger and Anzi Kopitar, someone who's performed uh, excellently against his Nashville Predators team throughout his career and honestly has had one of the most under the radar, really good careers uh, of practically anybody in the NHL of this generation. He, his name rarely comes up in the conversation, but it should always be in the conversation. Anzi Kopitar at four goals, nine assists on the season, leads the Kings in scoring at 13 points. Lafriere at eight and three for 11. Clark has one goal, but 10 assists for 11 points. Kevin Fiala, you know him, you remember him, five goals, five assists for 10 points. Kempe's at four and six for 10. Over on the Nashville Predators side of the ledger, fill up Forsberg is behind a point per game pace, but still pacing the Predators, number one overall in the team in scoring with six goals and four assists for 10 points. O'Reilly's at three goals and six assists for nine points. Gus Nyquist continues being a conversation right here with me. Four goals, three assists, seven points, even though he's had his minutes diminished due to the star power that's entered the lineup this season. March or so is at two and five for seven. The captain, Romeo, he's got a goal finally on the board and six assists for seven total points anticipated goaltending matchup sees Kemper with a record of 3-0-3 so no regulation losses for Kemper on the season 3.11 goals against average 8-9-0 save percentage uh, of course you know how I feel about the goals against above three and the save percentage below nine those numbers are not quite so good but the record at 3-0-3 is pretty good you see sorry 3-5-1 the record itself not great 292 goals against average is certainly improving. Save percentage of 900, even with one shutout on the season. That's got you all set for the National Predators hosting the LA Kings at Bridgestone Arena. We got to go back and talk about what happened over the weekend. The Preds host the Colorado Avalanche at Bridgestone Arena as well. It's called the Reverse Sports Full Game Recap, and it is coming up next right after 